As I put pieces together for my proposed documentary about the 120th anniversary of Albert Einstein's awe-inspiring single year of 1905, I'm reading up a wide range of writings by him and about him. One recurring personality trait that I believe separates Einstein from the rest is his striking ability to conduct thought experiments using his imagination. There is a passage in his slim book, Relativity, the Special and General Theory, that I find to be a compelling example of that ability. Let me quote him. I'm standing in front of a gas range. Standing alongside of each other on the range are two bands, so much like that one may be mistaken for the other. Both are half full of water. I notice that steam is being emitted continuously from the one pan, but not from the other. I'm surprised at this, even if I've never seen either a gas range or a pan before. But if I now notice a luminous something of bluish color under the first pan, but not under the other, I cease to be astonished, even if I have never before seen a gas flame. For I can only say that this bluish something will cause the emission of the steam, or at least possibly it may do so. If, however, I notice the bluish something in neither case, and if I observe that the one continuously emits steam whilst the other does not, then I shall remain astonished and dissatisfied until I have discovered some circumstance to which I can attribute the different behavior of the two pans." Unquote. It takes an unusual mind to think of something like this and use that as a tool to unravel some of the most profound mysteries of the universe. I marvel at the astonishing sweep of his intellect as a 26-year-old, that he came up with the profound idea that light is composed of both energy and quantifiable particles. He called them quanta or photons as we know it. And that was just one of the four papers that he published in 1905 in the German scientific journal Annal der Physik. <laughs>